today we're we're going to Zanzus Homs, right? Yeah. And Sandam. So we're gonna check it out right there. And uh the current day in the train. That's it. So uh 15 minutes in the train and we'll be there. So I will pick you guys up there. We made it to the Sansus Homs. And uh, now we're gonna look around, look what we can see, and uh, I will show you guys on the way. So, guys, we're now in uh, one of the older over times, and it started in 1887, and this is what it looked like. They started with coffee. With coffee. Mm -hmm. Look. A can of coffee. Yes. Yes guys, one of the oldest Obers hang in here. Here's where it all started. Guys, so it's a super nice little small town and it's really like, how do you say this? Old, you can say, yeah. you know, you have the the small first sort of Albertain. I don't know if it's, I'm not sure if it's the first one, but it, it is built in, it started in 1878 or 87, yeah. sorry. So it's a quite long time ago. And uh, yeah, here they make the, the clumps the wooden Dutch shoes so uh, yeah it's all like small little museums and stuff where you can enter and see <laughs> I'm quite hungry guys I'm ready for uh, like a fritje or so <laughs> a french fry so guys we're now at the Klompen Museum so these wooden shoes that you can see right here they're making them here, so uh, we're gonna check it out right now. You can see there that everybody was wearing them. <laughs> Guys, over here they're showing us how to make a clump. So the machine is just cutting a piece of wood into the shape of the clump and then they cut it out. And there you have it, guys. If you have to make it by hand, three hours with the machine is five minutes. <laughs> Guys, we're, we have top quality weather here in the in the Netherlands. As you can see, it's raining. It just rains super hard. The reason we heat it up is what it's cold. The oil is, isn't coming out. When you warm it up, the oil is coming out easier. When it's when it's warm, you can see you can make a ball out of it. And when it's cold, it's important to just crumble. So that's why. More or less an eagle back. They are not. I can see it now. So what's the real? This side and the other one. Okay, and girls, don't forget that. I'm also raising uh, females, millers. They want to get out of their head and doing something with their heads. So, so yes, guys. Karata is a Dutch fighting. I put the first one in here, 
into this envelope and it's called haren. Because it used to be the hair of the horse. Haar means hair. Moet gewoon op mijn hoofd gaan. Oh, yeah. Using his hair. <laughs> it's not called That's haar. That's the reason called... I'm bald, eh? <laughs> it's called Rops. So the second one over here. And then I put it in, in here. And then what I'm going to do next, I want to press this one in. You get the shape of the wedge, it's this shape. So when I press it in, powered by the mill, it's pushing the, this to, uh, outside, to the, to, the, to the sides. And you see the oil is falling in here and there. After about 15 hits, the oil is out. And then I have to release the whole thing because everything stocks down. And then I'm using this one. So 50, 60 hats with, uh, with this one. Then I'm going to use this one to release the whole thing. You can take out the cakes and start restart the whole process again. This is quite noisy, so you have to protect your ears if you're staying over here. That's the reason we are using this normal scope. So press it in and press it to the side. Also may step to this side, maybe. Please come a little closer. Here's how they make the oil, guys. You can see the oil is running out. See it? So here, you can see the oil is coming out. You see? Oh, that's better. Yeah, do. What's happening with the wind, Rob? Gone. You have to put a new euro inside. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this they reuse for yeah, I don't know, fish cow food, food, fish food, chicken food. Yeah. So it gets reused, guys. Everything. So no trash, no yeah. trash. It doesn't exist. So they make oil out of the grain, then they. The rest, they give it to the chickens. <laughs> Guys, we have some french fries. Yes, sir. Now we're slowly walking back to the train to grab the train to Zandam because now we're in Zanseschans. So now we're gonna slowly walk back. We say goodbye to Zanseschans. It was fun to visit if you don't have anything to do and you're close by to Amsterdam. 100% do it. But uh, now we're going to um zandam so uh i will meet you i will pick you guys up back there yo yo what's up for everyone we have some typical dutch weather right here and uh now we're in zandam guys so this is the building that's supposed to like look like that it has more buildings inside of it right something like that yeah <laughs> but yeah here we are guys zandam with beautiful weather <laughs> Yes, everyone. Now we're in Sandam. Yeah. Just walking in the city. Yep. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Now in a little bit we're gonna get some food. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, so we're getting some fish. Some kibbling, like a kibbling. Mm. Some nice kibbling. Oh What's up everyone? So look, this is what the uh, Sandam, toch? Sandam yeah. is like known for, right? Or not? I don't know. I don't know either. But uh, always, nice. always if you search up Volendam, you see this picture of his building. So, uh, yeah. I think so. It's funny to see though, because it looks like there is like houses built on top of each other, and that's what they want to do as well. You know, with your vision, they want to look like let it look like like there's more houses built in one building right mm -hmm. so we just walked the whole main street all the way back and forth now i don't know what we're gonna do yet but we're gonna see right mm -hmm. so uh when we decide i will let you people know <laughs> what's up what's up guys we're uh, back in amsterdam we just ate at a korean barbecue and Super nice actually. 
No, I'm so full. Uh, it's it's insane. It was all you can eat. I cannot eat no more. Um, yeah, that's it for now, and that's gonna be probably it for today. So see you guys tomorrow on the next one.